I've moved on, but a lot of the foolish haven't, and they're still stuck there. And that explains Green Day. And they haven't come up with anything of their own. What they literally are is a coat hanger with a studied leather jacket stuck on it. All right. And I think it's a parody and it's a shame. What I'm offering here is kind words and a way out. <laughs> Wadi, the frontman for The Exploited, collapsed on stage in Colombia while performing. So the rest of the 2022 tour dates are officially canceled. Wadi has a history of pushing himself. He suffered a heart attack on stage in Portugal and was rushed to the hospital. But this time he fell to his hands on his knees before actually collapsing upon the stage. The band wrote on Facebook, thankfully Wadi is feeling better now and resting in a hotel. Due to the doctor's orders, all remaining shows for 2022 have been canceled, including tonight's performance. We are sorry about this. Wadi is exhausted and told to cancel all upcoming gigs this year. So it's pretty scary. You know, there's an image of Wadi going out on oxygen, being pushed into the back of an ambulance. Last year, they were celebrating their 40th anniversary and they refused to cancel their tour dates. Now, Wadi had this to say, fuck the virus. I've had five heart attacks, a quad heart bypass, and a heart pacemaker fitted. Cancel gigs for a virus? We aren't fucking Green Day. We are the real deal. No danger will be canceling our upcoming gigs. Punk's not dead. But many people may be thinking, why is he insulting Green Day? Well, back in my day, and I am the last of the classic punk rock generation before Green Day, when in the 90s they started erupting into grunge, um, Green Day was seen during that time in the early 90s as a poser. Uh, they weren't punk rock legends like the Sex Pistols or the Dam. Only bands like Sloppy Seconds, No Effects, uh, were accepted, but not Green Day. And those bands were massive in the 90s on the radio, but even rancid during that time by punk rockers was ostracized. For those unfamiliar with The Exploited, it is a Scottish punk rock band, again, one of my favorite bands growing up. Now, Wadi did serve in the British military before he started a band. It makes me laugh because it makes me think of Johnny Silverhand in um, Cyberpunk 2077. He, he got into punk music around the 1970s after hearing the Sex Pistols. You've listened to The Exploited, you know they hate politics, they hate religion, and he says, fucking hate religion. For me, everyone's free to believe in something, but just because you believe in some of it doesn't mean you have to believe in all of it. But I can't understand people that care about religion more than anything else. Wadi is one of the most real spoken and loving people of the punk rock generation. He despises bands like Crass. Wadi had this to say. People listen to bands and they believe what they sing about. They identify with that. He said bands like Crass, it's just words. They're full of shit. And they even bought record companies under other people's names so that it couldn't be traced to them because they're fucking sellouts. It was all about the money for them but they sold out. A lot of the bands used to be good until they turned more pop rock. Like when I was a punk, when I was young, I used to see the Buzzcocks live and it was great. And now you see these fans at music festivals 
many bands define themselves as punk bands, but they're full of shit. They're so pop orientated that they don't even stand for any values. They do not deserve the status of being defined as punk bands. So a minor example of why is Wadi was at an awards show for a music magazine and he had to give an award to Green Day. Now, we know he hated them. Still, Wadi gave the award to Green Day. He said that Billy Joe Armstrong confronted him after that and said, when you die, I'm going to be standing over your grave laughing at you, Wadi. And Wadi said back to him, I've got something you'll never have. You can have an extensive record company and loads of money. Still, I've got something you'll never have. Respect for the punks. You cannot buy that. You cannot earn that. And then the two of them had to be split up by other people. They were getting into a rumble. Now, I did grow up in the 90s, which is why I say it's the last of the punk rock era because grunge was taking over, or the classic punk rock era. And I can verify that Billy Joe Armstrong and his band like to fight outside of bars. Uh, so Billy probably wanted to fight Wadi. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and share this with your friends.